Hello everyone. I welcome the students, researchers, scholars, and the scientific community all over the world. This is Advanced Multiple YouTube channel. Advanced Multiple Incorporation actually a knowledge processing and information management organization that is uh, located in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. My name is uh, Dr. Taha Nazir. I'm working as scientific executive with Intellectual Consortium of Drug Discovery and Technology Development Incorporation. Okay, well, today I'm going to share my information, my knowledge, and my experience under the title Introduction, Component, and Process of Polymerase Chain Reaction. For this purpose, I collected the scientific information and research data from uh, PubMed, Medline, Scoopers, Google Scholar, National Library of Medicine, MBES, Directory of Open Access Journal, Proquist, CNKI, that is China based database company, Stanford, China National Knowledge in Infrastructure. And some of the information collected from the research gate and crossref. Okay, well, uh, before moving forward, I would like to uh, discuss a little bit about uh, the person who discovered and invented the PCR machine, polymer polymerase chain reaction. In 1985, Carrie Mullis invented a precise and radical new method of selecting and amplification of the DNA segment. Dr. Carey received a Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1983. So, for his invention of the polymerase chain chain reaction. Uh, okay, well, before moving forward, I would like to talk a little bit about introduction of the PCR. PCR is a relatively simple and inexpensive tool that can be used to focus in on a segment of DNA and copy it million of time over. PCR is used every day to that for the diagnostic purpose, the identification of the bacteria and viruses and match criminals to the crime scene. Until the mid 90s, the only way to make uh, many copies of the DNA was to insert the DNA piece into the bacteria and select the desired one from many different colonies grown on, on a plate that was a, man, a manual conventional method uh, used for the amplification and cloning of the uh, DNA segment. Okay, well, there are the seven different components or seven different parts involved in the PCR machine. The first one is the DNA template, then primers, then DNA polymerase and lime. Nucleotides, we know there are the four major kinds of the nucleotide, adenine, guanine, cytosine, thymine. These are used in the PCR. Then buffer solution, divalent ions, distilled water, and the thermal cycler machine. Okay, well, DNA template is the sample DNA that contains the target sequence. At the start of the reaction, high temperature is used to split or to separate the DNA strand from each other. Primer are short pieces of the strand, single strand DNA that are complemented to target sequence. They are custom built, so they can have any sequence of the nucleotide. Okay, well, the next one is the primers component involved in the PCR. The primer is molecule. Molecular biology uh, are used as a start point in the DNA synthesis in vitro as well as in vivo. The DNA primer is used in PCR amplification, while the RNA primer is the main in ingredient of the replication. PSA is also used for the synthesis of DNA, but it is a temperature dependent process. For a PCR to run, two primers are designed through complementary base pairing, one primer attached to the top strand at the one end of the segment of the inserted, and the other primer attached to the bottom strand at the other end. Okay, well, the DNA polymerase enzyme. DNA polymerase enzyme is a naturally occurring enzyme that make a new strand of DNA complementary to target sequence. When the DNA polymerase molecule bump into a primer, that base pair with a longer piece of DNA, it attach itself near the end of the primer and start adding nucleotides. So in nature, these primer are made by an enzyme called as primase. The DNA polymerase is our in our body, break down all tem temperature well below the 95 degrees centigrade required for the denaturation. The tag DNA polymerase that is uh, most often used in PCR come from a strain of the bacteria called Thermus aquaticus that live in the hot spring. It can survive near boiling temperature and work quite well at 2 degrees centigrade. 
P PFU, DNA polymerase from the pyrococcus furicus is also used for this purpose. Okay, the next component is the nucleotides. Nucleotides, we know, we know there are the four, four major kind of the nucleotide, adenine, guanine, cytosine, and uh, thymine. They are frequently used for the synthesis of the DNA and RNA. Nucleotide are the building block that make DNA molecule. Four types of the nucleotide are added to the PCR reaction. DNA polymerase grab nucleotide that are coating in the liquid around it and attach them to end of a primer. So the real time, what's the traditional PCR? Real time PCR allow for the uh, detection of PCR product during the real phase of reaction. This ability of measuring the reaction kinetic in the early early phase of PCR provide a distinct advantage over traditional PCR detection. Okay, uh, traditional method used the gel electrophoresis for the detection of PCR amplification in final phase or at the end point of a PCR reaction. This is the simple regular diagram. This is a linear graph in between the two different parameters. When we call the linear, it means there should be two parameters, horizontal and vertical. In horizontal, we take the time in minute. In vertical, we take the temperature in degree centigrade. There are the three steps involved in polymerase chain reaction. In PCR, first, in first step, the temperature uh, induced or produced at approximately 95 degrees centigrade for uh, almost one minute or 30 seconds. This step is called heat maturation. The second step involves the primer annealing temperature maintained uh, at about 75 degrees centigrade for almost 50 seconds. The third step, synthesis of co complementary chain Temperature of about uh, 94 degrees centigrade is maintained for almost 50 seconds. So these are the three steps involved in the synthesis of the clone of a particular DNA segment. And uh, they are repeated multiple times to produce multiple clones. So this is another diagram, another il illustration that highlights the process uh, or working of the PCR machine. Three steps involved, step one, denaturing at 95 degrees centigrade. The DNA segment or DNA uh, strand is denatured, split into the two parts. Then in second phase, the three component involved or three uh, parts or uh, three segment involve DNA primers, DNA polymerase enzyme and nucleotide. Nucleotide, as I told you before, four main types so that may be the adenine, guanine, cytosine and thymine. At the third phase, these uh, Building blocks, nucleotide, they tie together. They are, they bind the bind as a section to the DNA to, the, to to be amplified, and they make a new strand or the new component or new clone of particular desired DNA. So this cycle is repeated for twenty to forty times to produce multiple clones. Uh, okay, well, in conclusion, innovative and the novel approach and technique used into the conventional PCR to improve the accuracy and efficacy. Single nucleotide polymorphism and the single nucleotide mutation result from the substitute of only a single phase that can be relevant to disease susceptibility, pathogenesis of the disease and efficacy of the specific particular drug. For the advancement of DNA, RNA preparation, subsequent amplification steps and mini HRization or reducing the size of PCR instrument help to obtain the exact finding in timely manner. Okay, well, uh, before closing, I would like to salute and greet to my colleague, my friends and my team, Sherry Bachkar, Bulk Gang Dance, then Daniel, Dustin Hawker, Marwa al Magarbi. Uh, there is Terry Mill, Nassel, Nudin, Hamza, Robert Heyman, then Ishtiaq, Arslan, and Amin, they, they are my pride. They helped me a lot to make this video today. Uh, I also acknowledge the kind the help and support of Advanced Multiple Incorporation and Intellectual Consortium of Drug Discovery Technology Development Incorporation. Thank you very much for staying with me for so long time and watching the video. See you soon in my next session and uh, bye for now.